Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mattia. I'm a professional time lapse and hyperlapse photographer living in Madrid. And in today's video, I'm going to review the Miops Capsule 360. Let's show the intro. So first of all, I want to thank Miops to send this over. And just to let you know, they didn't tell me what to say. This is my honest review and opinion. However, in the description below, you can find an affiliate link uh, to the Capsule 360. And if you like it, and uh, if you thinking to buy it, so please consider to buy it through the link. So that will help me a lot to continue to make this kind of video. So with that out of the way, I have to say that the Capsule 360 is quite light and compact, that, which is it's a good thing, so I can bring it around without any problem. Also, the app looks very good, easy to understand, and the connection between the phone and the Capsule 360 is very good, very reliable, and I didn't have any problem so far, so I'm happy with that. Another good thing is that you, when you connect to the app and you're ready to shoot, you are not forced <laughs> to get updates. So if there is an update, you can skip it and then update it when you have a, a Wi-Fi connection or when you actually want to. So which is good. They don't force you any updates. Another thing I like about it is that it's upgradable. So what that means? It means that if you have two of these, you can use one for panning and one for, one for tilt. So with the L bracket attached and they have also a slider. So you can actually get a three a complete three axis system quite lightweight so that could be interesting to try but i haven't tried the slider or the second um, capsule 360 by with the tilt so i don't know if it's actually if it's actually good or not so let's talk about the app first of all to turn on this device you just you got the power button you press once and it will turn on yeah and this is in basically in pairing mode when it's flashing blue, there you go, Perry mode. So you go to the app, it's called Capsule 360. You go search for device and that's it. You go the Capsule 360 pan because uh, you can see it's uh, horizontal. So you connect and that's it. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's quite fast. And um, as you can see, it has pretty much everything. I mean, you go basic time lapse, long exposure time lapse bulb ramping time lapse, inter interval ramping time lapse, HDR time lapse, you can do basic video if you want. Then you have the panorama, a, a turntable, so if you have like a product or something. Remote control, just you control it via the phone. Something interesting that got my attention as well was uh, the start tracker that I wanted to try. So I will show you at the end uh, how, it, how it works uh, and if it works. So let's go to the basic time lapse and you can see it's quite complete as an app you go the degrees of angle here then you go the you can choose your frame per second settings i i just go 30 you can shoot you can choose your interval ah something good that you can go half a second interval and it quite and it works so that's a that's a good thing and then so let's see let's go and you can do like let's see one second for example and then you can select the how long you want to get the video something that i don't understand why they didn't put it is the option to select how many pictures you want to shoot and i don't understand why this company that makes time lapse um, device they don't put this option they just get rid of it personally i prefer to select how many pictures i want to take but you know you, you can here so hopefully they will um, make an update and add this um, this option and basically that's it you know you can load a preset you can save a preset and then with this you can you move it left and right this will be the start point then you put like that you can see how, how many degrees it's going to pan finish and yes goes back on the start position and that's it you're ready you're ready to go so before going out i want to tell you that if you're shooting astro time lapse you see there is um this uh, light is flashing so basically if you're doing a time lapse during the night and this thing is flashing all the time then your time lapse is gonna you're gonna get ruined 
So what I did is to get a tape uh, or something like black tape and cover it. So that will save <laughs> your time lapse. There is no uh, switch off or on. I mean, it's quite big. <laughs> quite big light. Uh, I asked them if there was an option to turn it off, but there isn't at the moment. So we'll see if they do something about it. So okay, let's go out, shall we? And here we are outside of Madrid. You can see the four towers and the Kyo towers from here. So really great view to try this out. So first, let's uh, turn on the the capsule 360, and then let's go to the app. There we go. So available device, connect and connecting. That's it. Then we select the uh, basic time lapse. So first of all, let's see, let's uh, set up uh, the shot, which is, well, let's see, uh, the interval, the clouds are not moving that fast, so we can put like maybe two seconds of interval, frame per, frame per second 30 as usual, and then yeah, let's leave uh, the playtime, which is the end uh, video length at 15 seconds. And then, we select this one so you get the start point. There we go, it will be on the right and play next. Then we go to the left until we are at the center of the towers. There you go, yeah, more or less. And let's finish. So, do you approve to go to the first step? Yes. So, basically, now it goes um, on the start point. And basically that's it. Let's start it. And here it goes. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use it. So so now on the app you can see uh, you go 450 frame to shoot and 16 minutes remain until the movement is done. And then uh, as well you can see where is the camera. Uh, on uh, on the screen, so you can see that's on the yes, the start and the F is the finish. Oh, and then that's it. Let's see how this looks. Pretty cool, eh? So another feature that I found interesting and I want to show you is uh, the interval ramping time lapse mode. That means I can shoot a sequence from day to night by increasing the interval as it gets dark. So during the sunset I can have a short interval, like 4 seconds for example, and once it gets dark the shutter will increase to 30 seconds. I tried this feature a couple of times and this is uh, the result I have. As you can see, the result is quite interesting. Even though when you go a longer time lapse, you can see a ramping on the speed because, of course, as it's ramping the interval, everything 
goes a little bit shorter but yeah i like it i like this option it's good to have something like this as an extra so in conclusion i really like this device i see myself using it a lot if i'm going to travel in light or if i want to go to the city center without get noticed with a, a bunch of gear it's that small and light that i can leave in my bag and have it just in case so the price of the capsule 360 is a 279 dollar However, they're doing the sale at the moment, so the price could be a little bit lower. If you want to check their website, you can find the affiliate link uh, in the description. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review and find it useful. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to reply to all of you. And I also added a time lapse gear review playlist at the end of this video, so if you want to check it out. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.